Hello, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, send a, an Outlook contact record over to OneNote, as well as any attachments to that record. And that way you would have the contact information in OneNote uh, so that you could uh, use all the capabilities of OneNote to add additional notes and other content associated with that contact. Perhaps you're gonna be meeting with the contacts, so you wanna have that contact information uh, readily available for you while you're in OneNote. So as you can see, I, I have my uh, Outlook opened. I'm in my contact records. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just send my uh, personal uh, contact record over to OneNote. So I just simply, of course, select that contact. You can see I've got my, my name highlighted. And in the Home uh, tab for the uh, Outlook contacts, you see the OneNote button. By the way, I'm using OneNote uh, 2016 and Outlook 2016. If you have an earlier version, the functionality is gonna be the same, but the uh, interface may be slightly different. So when I click on OneNote, you know, it pops up this uh, dialog box. If you've taken some of our other videos along the same uh, line, you, you'll be familiar with this. And so I can either search for a specific location in a OneNote notebook to send this to, uh, it gives me a list of my recently accessed uh, sections in various OneNote notebooks. And then the, the last option is it gives me all of my uh, notebooks. So I'm going to do that option to show you the long way so you can see exactly how specific it can be about where you want to send this contact record. So I have a OneNote note webinar uh, demo notebook. I'm going to open that so I can see the section tabs. So you can see I have a section tab for staff. So when I click on that, that's where I'm going to send this contact information. Uh, because I didn't select an existing OneNote page, it's going to create a new page. I click out OK, and that quickly you'll see it brings up, it opens up my OneNote uh, webinar demo notebook, and it created a new page. Uh, the name CPA Cross, CPA Crossings is the name of the page because that's how I've chosen to have my contacts listed by company name followed by uh, individual name. So uh, CPA Crossings, if I take the space out there, there we go. And then you can see now it's giving give me more complete, the company followed by my name. Uh, but as you can see, it brings over not all of my contact information, but um, a selected set of it. And got my name, got my picture, because I have that in the contact record. I've got a hyperlink so I can send an email to myself right now. Remember, this would be for other contacts as well. Uh, address, and then I happened to have my bio uh, attached to my contact record, because a lot of times I get asked for that when I'm giving presentations. So I can just click on any attached files relative to that contact and open it up. This happens to be a Word document, so I have direct access to that uh, from, with, from within OneNote at this point in time. Uh, then, you'll, of course, I can put in my notes. Please update for 2019 as an example. Um, and you see there's a hyperlink here to link to uh, Outlook items. So what that does simply is when I click on that, it takes me back into Outlook, into that contact record uh, within Outlook. So let's say that I change my uh, business address to uh, P.O. Box. I'll just keep it short here, P.O. Box. 81578. I won't put the entire address. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay. What I want to show you is even though I updated my Outlook uh, record, I'd have to, uh, if I come back here and click on this, it's, it's giving me the, the P.O. box here. But what it didn't do uh, is it doesn't update this information. I would have to resend. If you make any updates to the contact record, I guess that's the main point I want to uh, share with you, is that uh, any, if I make any updates to the contact record, I'm going to have to resend it over to OneNote. It's not a, it's not a dynamic link uh, that way. But I can always have the ability to just click here to see the updated information in the actual contact record. So that was nice and easy, a short little video. I hope you find it helpful, and I hope to see you on a future uh, Office 365 Tips and Tricks video. Thanks and have a great day.